members. Today we in Rafid Hai has the great honor to meet with His Holiness Murag Natya Zakei the first Hiwaz, who is the supreme head of the Syrian Orthodox Church in all the East. Baruch Mar Kumran Maliu. What can Your Holiness tell us about your life? Well, my humble self live very simple life. Of course, my life is in, in uh, monastery with our monks, nuns, and the students of uh, uh, Saint Ephraim College, which is for our clergy, all our clergy. We wish that they would be graduated from this college to learn what is the church, what is history of the church, and Syriac language, which is language of our forefathers and of our Jesus Christ and Saint Mary and all the apostles. And we are proud of it. In this college, they master this language and they are proud that they are those who uh, speak every day uh, speak in th this language Syriac Aramaic I was born in Mosul Iraq in 1933 21st of April and of course, my family, my parents, my forefathers, all the members of the family, fellow, they are members of the Syrian Orthodox Church, and they follow our tradition and believe in our doctrine as Church of Antioch and we are proud to be followers of this church, Holy Church. Yes. Uh, when I was graduated from the elementary school, I enrolled in the seminary, St. Ephraim Seminary. It was at that time in Mosul, Iraq. Thank God I was very successful and I graduated from the seminary with a high position and become a monk in 1954. I was ordained a monk and uh, First of all, I was appointed as a teacher at the seminary itself. Then, next year, in 1955, I was appointed as second secretary for the late Patriarch Magnasio Safran I in Homs. And uh, in 1957, I was ordained a priest, monk priest. And of course, that is position very respected in our church that to be Secretary, I become secretary to to my predecessor to Patriarch Yaqub mm -hmm. after the dismiss of Patriarch Ephraim, God bless his soul. At that time, 
my life started to be more ecumenical because my predecessor, Petya Yaqub, sent me first to represent him in Vatican II as official representative and observers. I started to feel that it is necessary to approach all the churches and to understand what do they believe, what is their aim in relationship with the other churches and such the doors of a communal movement opened for me. I don't know what I should say about my life. Only I want to say that I am happy that God chosen me and I have too chosen for myself to be a monk celibate and singer and to serve my church not only like a monk but also I run like a priest mm -hmm. yes and of course uh, in such I followed our forefathers to sacrifice myself to work hard to educate myself and educate those people who whom I was responsible to serve them spiritually. I am happy that I, cho I have chosen to the spiritual life. The spiritual life which makes me ready for the kingdom of God, to serve the kingdom of God on the earth and be ready to serve, to be a fellow or, or one of those who are going to inherit the kingdom of God in, in the heaven. All my life I considered the spiritual life very important to all the clergy. If I preach, first of all I preach myself, then I preach the people. I teach myself how to be a good monk, good priest, and good faithful of our Lord Jesus Christ and follower of him in all my life. Uh, many times I was sent to attend conferences and the communal movement meetings and I believed in that too. Even though sometimes you, you, you become disappointed when you see that people or organizations speak about the communal movement and they are far away from the spirit of the communal. I am doing my best to be good example in my church and other churches how to be in my behavior as one who loves our Lord Jesus Christ and follows our Lord Jesus Christ and of course and uh, try to be in behavior good students of our Lord Jesus Christ, good disciples. God chosen me to to serve as a bishop in 1963 I was ordained a bishop 
for Mosul and north or, and other places in the north of Iraq. Then in 1969, I was moved as Archbishop of Baghdad and Basra and all surrounding these, these two cities, big cities. I work hard as I believe whatever my Lord Jesus Christ given me to serve my church. In 1980, I have been chosen and elected by the bishops to be patriarch after the dismissal of my predecessor, Patriarch Yaqub III. Since then, I have been sacrificing myself to be servant of all the servants of our Lord Jesus Christ and our church, Syrian Orthodox Church of Antioch. Thank God, God helped me to establish uh, this monastery, which is college, theological college, and many buildings for the benefit of the church. This is what I am really proud that God helped me to do so. And I taught my spiritual sons and daughters how to be strong in faith and even when I send them outside in the other colleges and universities, I am proud of them because they behave very nicely and uh, they were always clever, intelligent and working hard for getting the knowledge of other churches and to spray the knowledge about our church, spread the doctrine, the history, and so on for our Syrian Orthodox Church and teach others about our church, about our doctrine, about our language, which is Syriac Aramaic. And all these things, I thank God, because whatever I have done, it was by the help of our, our Lord Jesus Christ. Many buildings, many institutions, and many students, monks and nuns, were educated in many universities outside in Europe, in America, in other places, and especially in Greece. Many of our students were graduated in the high degrees in Greece, in Athens, and in Thessaloniki monks and nuns and some of them will be here in the staff of, the, of our college to have the, uh, the college good people good scholars to give the college and the university and uh, of course seminary good reputation. 
I am happy even though I am now old man but still thank God trying to continue my my work for the benefit of the church and uh, to let the people understand that the main thing we for us the clergy is to fear God and uh, to to be in faith and to love one another love God love our Lord Jesus Christ and love, love the neighbor and to serve our church and serve anyone needs our servant in sacrifice way not to be selfish to deny ourselves for the benefit of our church and humanity that is what I wanted to say answering your question what do you have uh, next uh, as the supreme head of the Syrian Orthodox Church what can you tell us about your role well in this time it's very hard time really uh, and when our people immigrated to the West especially in Sweden mm. in Germany in other places it is not easy for us to follow up to follow up those people to be in the foreign countries keeping their language keeping to their tradition and the doctrine of their church and history to continue the very very clean history of our forefathers to be to be proud of the their forefathers proud of their tradition proud of their language and this is not very easy text and the supreme head I can't do anything alone I should be helped by first of all the bishops then all the clergy and even the very educated young people boys and girls to do their job too for their faith in our church faith in our doctrine faith in our tradition and of course to be proud of our language Syriac Aramaic that's why I ask our people all over the world first of all to avoid problems to avoid divisions to avoid selfishness and to avoid to be followers only of their old country and they have to follow their new country and to be earnest and sincere as good citizens in new country as they, their fathers were in the old country and such I think the, the new countries will be proud of us and uh, and we will be successful in these new countries and good citizens and the new country will be proud of us 
What do you want me to say? Um, I would like to know how a day can look like for His Holiness. A day, of course, we always fear God, and if we go fear God, we pray to be good followers of our Lord Jesus Christ, to pray to be friends of our Lord Jesus Christ too. Children of God, when we pray uh, the prayer which God, the incarnation, our Lord Jesus Christ taught us, we always call God our Father. When He is our Father, He takes good care of us. And if He is our Father, we should follow His teaching and trust Him all in our life. This is something very important. And especially when the Gospel calls our Father Emmanuel in our language, blessed language, it means God is with us. Since God is with us, we should be with Him too. And if you will not be with Him, we are not going to be His followers, we are not going to be blessed by Him. Then our life as a monk and all of us, the patriarch, the bishops, and the monks are monks. And I am a monk. I have to pray always. When I get up early in the morning, always early in the morning, I should start that by prayer. Not only a prayer in the church, but also private prayer in my room. I start that and I read the, the Holy Bible and I read whatever our forefathers has written for us. All these testament, Shimo, Fanquito, Kulmedim, the uh, everyday prayer and uh, prayers of the feast and feel that God is with us and we ask him and he always be uh, pre be happy when he sees uh, he looks at us and we are asking him the help always, then the prayer is very necessary for us. After I pray my prayer every day, early in the morning, I take breakfast and I take my medicine too. I am old man and I have to take my medicine. Then I start my day. Thank God by help of the bishops and monks, professors of this college, I feel happy that we have people and good behavior and they fear God and fear God, or not only fear God, but love God and love the neighbors, especially their uh, the brothers, the monks and nuns, brothers and sisters, of course, and uh, they love their church, the members of the church, and pray for their church too, and uh, always feel the find the ways and means how to progress their church and how to be always uh, good, faithful, 
fearing God and holding the feast and fast, especially the Lent and fasting every Friday and Wednesday. And nowadays we need people of a prayer. We need people, people who can keep our faith and feast. Nowadays many people have forgotten whatever we have received from forefathers, everything, every tradition, every teaching. I pray for that always, that God will help our people to be good followers and good faithful of our Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, afterward, the secretary will present to me the letters and I should solve all the problems. And I can do that alone. If, if I am not the help by the bishops of all dioceses, I will not come to the result of solving any problem within the church. And there are many problems every day, everywhere, of the followers of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask the bishops, the priests, the clergy, monks and nuns especially, to pray that God will help us all to solve these, solve these problems and to establish peace in the name of our Lord or whatever and wherever our faithful the Syrian Orthodox of Antioch live. And of course, all the day, as a human being, we have to eat, to drink water. Because sometimes we see, I don't want to speak against others, but we see monasteries full of wines. And that is shame. We have to be good people, good faithful, and we should not use neither smoking nor drinking alcohol as a clergy to be good example for our people and such good. And such thing we are going to uh, good uh, to be good example for them and we too be happy in our good behavior among the people and even when we are alone. I think this is what about. To be said now. The last question is uh, what message you would like to give Method Haya that now has become a patriarchal youth organization? Well, we are proud of Mr. Hai, which in the short time they took their position in the church as young people, the faithful, and holding the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ, and trying to, to set themselves good example to our youth. I want them and pray for them to continue working for the benefit of the church and <coughs> to be a good example for others. And uh, I want all our youth to be like them in love the church, God, and the neighbor. Thank you.
Todi Seidna, we thank you for giving us of your precious time. And we hope and pray that God will grant you the strength to fulfill your service as the shepherd of the Syrian Orthodox Church. And uh, thank you very much for this time. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.